Hello and welcome! Today's video is going to be a slightly different as it is my first video on solving a jigsaw puzzle. But it's not your everyday jigsaw puzzle, as you can see there are no pictures or patterns printed on it. This is called the White Hell Jigsaw Puzzle by Beverly of Japan. I saw someone solved the 1000 pieces version of this puzzle a while back and I have always wanted to challenge myself to something similar, just on a small scale. And this one is only 108 pieces, but I still have no idea how difficult it will be. So let's open the box together and see what lies ahead. First things first, the pieces are very small. So maybe it will be slightly more challenging to pick them up and while solving it. Just to be clear, I don't have giant hands, just to give you a scale of how big these pieces are. Anyway, let's start the clock and see how long this will take me. I don't think I will be solving it very soon, so I have a lot of time to talk. I saw some reviews saying that the fit between pieces are a bit loose, which affects the solving experience, but I will not be deterred. First thing to do is to flip all the pieces to face the same direction. At this point, I'm quite glad that I can distinguish the front and the back of each piece, otherwise it will be even more challenging. Once that is done, my first strategy is to sort the pieces into different types. First, for the frame, I will separate the pieces by the number of nibs. I have also taken out the four corners which are the obvious starting points. Sorting out these 38 pieces already took me 4 minutes, but let's go on. What I did was to try and eyeball the shapes and sizes of each piece and to minimize the number of tries I need to do. Wow, finally I have done the frame. 20 minutes or so? Well, as bad as I thought. 38 pieces done and only 70 more to go. Haha. <laughs> but I think this is where the real challenge lies. Now we go to the main body of the puzzle. Similar to the frame, I'll sort the pieces into groups based on their shapes and we can move on. The four inner corner pieces looks quite special as the shapes are slightly different to the others. So I'll start from there and it seems it should be a good starting point. But after those four, I think everything will be a lot of trial and trial and trial and try and try. As you can see, sometimes there are mini bursts where I can place a few pieces consecutively. It's more mainly because some of the shapes of the pieces are quite special and I can eyeball it and just put it in the correct place. Five more pieces to go. What a journey. I think I haven't been concentrating for this hard for so long. Over two hours and I'm so tired. Solving a jigsaw puzzle like this feels different to solving a mechanical puzzle where I can relax a bit and play with the puzzle during the solve. But this, the whole process is very intense. A lot of focus. And done! Yes! 2 hours 8 minutes and 54 seconds. Satisfaction and a sense of great achievement. <sighs> okay, after the adrenaline rush, now I'll answer a question that some of you may have. Was it worth it? I'd say yes but only once in a while, please. The sense of achievement for solving such a difficult puzzle was great, but it's really a lot of trial and error and it's a test of patience more than intelligence. Nonetheless, I have done it. I hope you enjoyed this journey together with me. Do you think solving such a puzzle is worth the time? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already so you won't miss my weekly puzzle videos. Even though I have bought the Black Hell Jigsaw puzzle, which is the black version of the same thing. I think I'll leave it for next year, maybe. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. This is Downtime Fun signing off, and I will see you next week. Bye.